Hello and welcome to what I'm going to loosely term the editing series of videos. In this first video we're going to take a look at Papyrus's style analysis. So what is style analysis and how does it work? Well Papyrus's style analysis is like having an editor in the room with you making subtle suggestions as you write. It's not forcing you to make any changes, it's just pointing out where your work might be improved. Unlike many of the other style analysis softwares that are out there, Papyrus Authors is completely offline, so you don't need a, um, an internet connection. So whether you're in the middle of a desert island or in a wireless dead spot, Papyrus Authors style analysis will still work. As I say, it also differs, differs from those other softwares because it doesn't make any changes for you. It just points out where your work might stand to be improved. And then you, the author, have to make the decision on how that work has to be changed. This makes you a better writer and keeps you in full control of your work. So with all that said, let's take a look. Okay, so what I have here is some really old text. This is chapter one from the first book I ever wrote. And this dates back to 2008. So uh, style analysis should pick up a few problems in this. Um, so with that said, the first thing I'm going to do is turn on style analysis, which is done by clicking this quill icon down in the bottom uh, toolbar. Now, it's up to you when you use style analysis, whether you want to use it purely just in your editing sessions or whether you want to use it as you're working. I personally have it turned on on level one um, as I'm writing so I can keep an eye on uh, editing problems as I go um, purely because it just saves a little bit a bit of time in, in the following edit. But it's up to you. You could turn it on once you've done your first draft, just turn it on then. So at the moment, um, I'm on a level one. So there's three levels, uh, basic, which is uh, level zero, mid-range um, stringency, which is level one, and level two is the most intense style analysis. So what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to go back down to um, level zero. So to change the levels of the style analysis, you would right click on, <laughs> right -click on the uh, quill, and choose the level of the style analysis. So I'm going to go to basic and straight away you can see that a lot of text is no longer uh, colorized or highlighted. And that's because obviously it's not astringent. So in the basic levels of uh, style analysis, it's basically looking for things like word repetition, which is these green uh, um, highlighted ones. Uh, because I'm using the word too much. And filler words and things like that. Well, filler words are words that really aren't needed in a sentence that bog a sentence down because well they're just as I say they're just not needed so at the moment the level of stringency is pretty low and um, you know just looking at the minimal st uh, style issues so to go to style level one which is uh, editing which is the level I work on as I'm writing again I would right click and choose editing level one and straight away you can see it's highlighting more problems for instance this sentence so what what the, it does in this in um, style level one it's looking for things like sticky sentences sentences that are having problems because there's too many words like it at and and or and those kinds of things uh, it's looking for uh, dull verbs, boring adjectives and adverbs, and judgmental phrases, as well as long sentences. So this red dotted underlined sentence is too long. Um, that's why the red line's there. For instance, uh, this word beautiful, that would be classed as a judgmental word. Um, so, And if you hold your mouse over any of the words that are highlighted or underlined, it will tell you what the problem is with the word. And then you can pick and choose whether you want to change it. So, for instance, to fix this sentence, I would probably put in a full stop there, make that uppercase, which it just automatically did because spell check is on. And I would probably change beautiful to something like uh, breathtaking. 
and straight away that's more or less fixed up um, that sentence and this is a sticky sentence some might say if they had noticed that I was in good shape okay so to be honest you don't really need if they had noticed so you could remove that and does that make change that no it's still oh yeah so that's no longer a sticky sentence okay some might say that I was in good shape and you can actually remove the comma as well that's not needed so again it's suggestions it makes you think a little bit harder about the sentence okay so now I'm going to go up to level three which is proofreading level uh, sorry level two because they start at zero and it, it again this is the highest level of stringency that it looks at your text and again these are all suggestions it's not forcing you to do anything um, it's up to you to then reread uh, what you've done and decide uh, whether you want that word or not so for instance here with the ones with the crosses in it uh, could this adjective or adverb be um, uh, avoided so again it's up to you whether you remove them so there is one more saying I want to show you and that's uh, check also in direct speech uh, so what this does is by default is turn off because generally with dialogue it's not always grammatically correct and there's no you know there could be also purposeful spelling mistakes within your dialogue so by default uh, it's turn off so it doesn't check inside your dialogue if you want to check your dialogue for grammar then switch it on if not uh, leave it switched off so now we're going to get down to actually what other settings can be changed so I'm going to go into style analysis settings now which again is a right click on the quill and you can go to style analysis settings and here you can adjust what you want um, each analysis level to check so at the minute it's in the maximum level if I go back down to basics you can see that it's unticking the things that it will check so you can adjust those to suit yourself if you want certain things checked in a certain style analysis level you can what you can also do is edit filler words so if you have a word that you you get hung up on and you write all the time you know you could add that to the filler word so for instance you could go said and i'm going to set the category to uh filler word and i'm going to leave it as category one and press add okay so now what it will do it will look for that filler word said as well as all the other filler words that it looks for now basically a lot of this style analysis is aimed obviously at um, fiction writers but you can also change um, the settings for instance if you want office and science which would put it more to a non-fiction style of writing so if you were writing you know documents for within the office or um, for a scientific journal say it would turn the editing more towards those sorts of levels of analysis so if I right click and go to style analysis settings it would then show you um, what it's looking for within that type of style analysis okay um, and again like I say style analysis is it doesn't force your hand it really is just like having an editor looking over your shoulder and making subtle suggestions as you work okay so that was the style analysis video I use style analysis all the time and I like it because it guides you towards becoming a better writer it doesn't force your hand to do anything the final decision about your words that are on your page is up to you to make the software does not force that opinion on you so until next time I'll see you later